on doing this diagram, it's going to take forever. Then what's the simple way? It is called factorial. I'll show you how to do it. Assalamu alaikum. Anyways, today I will show you a super cool way that we can do like a lot of problem in just a short time by a really cool method. Here I have a question, a question for you as an example. It says, how many three digit numbers can you make using the digits one, two, three without repetition? Now, the, simp the normal way we would do this is join. So we already know that the digits are one, two, and three. So the join way would be, we have the number one. We're gonna start with the number one. We can always do the number two with it and the number three with it. Now on the second way, I am going to swap these two numbers, two and three. So it'd be three and two. So it's one, two, three, and one, three, two. Now, so now that I'm done with the number one, I'm going on to number two. In number two, we can always do one and then three. And, sw and swap these two by doing two, three. Now it says without repetition, right? So I didn't do any repeat repetition here. And how many ways? So let's count. One two, three, four, five, six. So let's keep in mind that the answer was six. I'm just gonna write it on there. Now, this, since this was a short uh, question, we could draw this, uh, we could draw this diagram. But look at the second question. It says, how many different ways can nine bats line up in the airport? Now, would you keep on doing this diagram is going to take forever. Then what's the simple way? It is called factorial. I'll show you how to do it. So remember, our answer was six for that one. But I'm going to do the example for this one now. Uh, okay. So if we would do a diagram, then we would do the number one, then band two, and then band three. Then four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight, and then nine. And then another way we will do then one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, then nine, and then eight. It's all these two. But if you keep going, it is gonna take forever. Trust me. So the short way is is factorial, as I said. How you do it is. We have nine bands here, right? So we would do something as uh, nine exclamation point. This one is called factorial. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two and times one equals two. Whatever it is will be our answer for this. But I'm not gonna waste our time by showing you the answer. So I am just going, to, since our first question answer was six, I'm going to prove it was six by the factorial method. So here, remember, how many digits were there? There are one, two, and three. So there are basically three digits. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do three factorial. It, it, it's based on how many digits there is. So there's three, right? So five factorial, what I would do is three times two times one equals two. Three times two is six, as we know, and six times one is six. Look at that. I proved that it was actually six. How about if your viewers give you a question like, how many different ways you can write A, B, C, and D, these four letters? What will be your factorial method? Well, in that case, there were four letters, right? Right. So what I would do is four factorial. 
Show me the answer by multiplying. So it's four times three times two times one. It always goes from the large number to one. That is four times three is 12. 12 times two is 24. 24 times one is 24. So what will be your answer sentence for this question? My answer will be there will be 24 ways of organizing the letters A, B, C, D in groups. So Thanks. now that you have all learned the factorial, whenever you get a problem like this, don't waste your time. Thank you.